Hey guys! Sorry, that was me being a little bit of a dork. I just wanted to show you guys my shirt because I think it's so awesome. But uh, yes, we're back with another Universal Yells box, and this month is actually Ukraine. So I got it totally wrong. Um, I didn't even think of Ukraine. But here it is. They also mentioned that they've never done a box from Ukraine before, so it'll be interesting to see what they find, especially if it's their first ever Ukraine box. I'm sure they want to impress, right? Okay, so we're going to start with the biggest bag, which is the Macho Forest Mushroom Chips. Ooh, mushroom hunting is a common pastime in the Ukraine, with people gathering mushrooms from local parks and forests to use in a variety of dishes. And this is apparently one of their favorite discoveries ever. And an added plus is I love mushrooms. So I've never actually had mushroom chips before, so it should be good. You can smell it. It's um, not as mushroomy as I thought it would be. Yeah, it looks like a regular potato chip. It's a little more golden than most chips you'll find. Mm. No way. When you first taste it, it's like mm, mushroom, and then you bite into it, and then the potato just kind of overtakes everything. It's not even a good kind of potato taste. This is disappointing. Um, I would give this a 6 out of 10. Not that great. Had high hopes, high expectations. Alright, so the next one is the Red Caviar Bread Snacks. These ones are similar to the ones I had in the Russian box. Hopefully this one tastes better. Okay, I've always just been okay with caviar. I'm not like a huge fan. It smells interesting. A sour bread taste. Sour dough. Tastes exactly like those bread snacks. Yeah. This is also a 6 out of 10. This bar is called Who Said Who? And it's stuffed with a sweet milk cream filling covered in milk chocolate drizzle. And we'll definitely be wanting more. <laughs> very bad pun. Uh, this, not gonna lie, looks like the Kinder Surprise Bueno bar. I'm guessing maybe they got it from this. I don't know. And it's dipped with chocolate on the bottom some drizzle at the top. So it's very chocolatey actually. So I'm gonna bite this first rich in half first. Mm. Mm. Can't really see it, but the cream filling literally fills up the whole space inside the wafer. I was expecting it to be like half or something. And there's even chocolate on the bottom part of the bar. It's like an eight and a half out of ten. That's the highest I've given a snack. This is the Oreo apricot and cream bonbons. Apricots are a popular filling in Ukrainian dishes and they can be used in cakes, drinks, jellies, and inside of dumplings. So this is similar to the last bar I had except for a chocolate cream filling. It's going to be an apricot cream filling, which sounds very interesting. Mmm, it smells good. If you've ever had anything like peaches and cream, it kind of smells like that except apricot. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but so it's like one cute little wafer. I'm loving this creamy filling thing. Mmm, it's good. You know, like uh, the other one, the cream filling takes up the whole of the wafer. I actually like this one a lot more than the chocolate one. The chocolate one is, don't get me wrong, it's amazing, but this one is, is that fruity, kind of light, refreshing taste to it. This is a 9 out of 10. This is the Roshan Creme Brulee Milk Chocolate Bar. Ooh! <laughs> it has a gooey gooey caramel filling inside a delicious milk chocolate bar. And this is great because I just had a creme brulee video and I wonder what a creme brulee chocolate bar would taste like. It's funny because if you look at the bar, you can tell it looks very high quality. It says fine chocolate Roshan. But nowhere does it say it's creme brulee. There's no picture of creme brulee. Ooh, it comes in little bars. So... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Don't squeeze the bottom. You'll, the whole thing will cave in. Well... Okay. Ah, the caramel. Yeah, it's so gooey. It looks like caramel, but the color is a little lighter. Oh my god. So damn sweet. Oh my god. 
I just had one because it's way too sweet and I can't have another one. Usually I have like a second bite apparently like something. This is way too sweet. It does not taste like creme brulee. It just kind of tastes like caramel. We put way too much sugar in this. <sighs> Sorry, but this is like a 6 out of 10. This is the Svitoch Chervoni Mac. Okay. On the wrapper, you'll notice a beautifully designed red poppy flower. These flowers have been used in Ukraine as a remembrance symbol for centuries. But in modern times, they've been used to memorialize servicemen who have died in. So this, I believe, is chocolate. Oh, what's inside the chocolate? I have no idea. We'll find out together. Okay, it's like a little rectangular chocolate. I don't know how to explain it. Let me try my best to describe this. So the outside, there's like a thin layer of um, a chocolate coat, like smooth chocolate coat. And then on the inside, you have kind of this grainy chocolate texture, similar to what a brownie tastes like, except if the brownie were to be compressed and into this tiny bar. So say the brownie was, you know, a little airy like they usually are, and about this big. Then you were to squeeze it all into this little uh, chocolate bar. <laughs> That's the best I can describe it. Sorry. It tastes like these Nutella, like a like, hazelnut spread. Hmm. Oh, like an 8 out of 10. These are glass of milk caramels and are actually recommended by the company Roshin uh, where they got a lot of the other snacks as well. They have a thick creamy milk filling and when you bite down the middle you'll see why it's called glass of milk. Okay so it's a cute little wrapper with a little orange cat holding a glass of milk. <laughs> when you unwrap it it's orange and kind of looks like a lightly colored caramel. You can tell it's soft. I'm gonna bite down the middle. Mmm. 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 I don't know how to explain this. I can show you why. You see that there's like a white filling inside, so it kind of looks like a glass of milk. Oh. Okay, it tastes like a soft, chewy milk candy. It's a very lightly flavored caramel chew on the outside, and in the middle, it tastes like a really creamy milk candy. And I just, oh, well, I can't say that. It doesn't really burst. It's just you bite into it, and then your taste buds are just like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sad. There's only two of them, but. I'm keeping all two of them. I'm not letting anybody try the other one. <laughs> this is a 10 out of 10. It might be the only time I give a snack a 10 out of 10, but these are that good. And if anybody knows where to find these, please let me know. Again, they are called the Roshan Glass of Milk Caramel. This is the Crazy Bee Candy. So it's a super chewy piece of candy filled with real fruit liquid filling. So there are multiple flavors and every box comes with two. So you'll either get cherry, orange, strawberry, lemon lime, grapefruit, or cranberry. They both look the same too, so I don't even know which one is which. I think this is strawberry. Um, no, cherry. I think, yeah. Ooh, good. Super chewy and gummy. Not like the cheap kind where like juju -ju where it sticks to your teeth. I hate those. For experimental purposes, I will eat the second one. I think this one's strawberry. It's like a lighter orangish red. Actually, the fruit filling, I thought it tasted creamy, but that was me. But when I look at it, it's actually a milky color. What are going through? Those are 7 out of 10. And last, we have the Fizzy Boom Hard Candies. It's a fizzy, fruity candy that feels like there's a chemical reaction happening in your mouth. There are apparently three different flavors, orange, lemon, and tutti fruity, and you'll be getting two out of the three. So luckily these ones say on the uh, packaging what it is. So one is tutti fruity and one is lemonade. So I'm more excited to eat the lemonade. So I'm gonna have this one too. That Coca-Cola candy I had with the little fizzy thing in the middle. 
So this is a yellow, like it's lemon flavored hard candy. And then in the middle, see right through it, there's like a giant thick line of some white powdery substance, which is going to give you that fizzy effect. I don't want to call it lemonade. It just tastes like lemon. <laughs> what a good lemon. Yep, very good. Mmm. Oh, good. Mmm. Power. Mmm. Oh, my God. Mmm. like, you suck on it a little bit, and then it's just. Pfft. <laughs> it comes out. I'll give this an 8 out of 10, too. I could go through a bag of these. Alright, so that's it for the box from the Ukraine. And these are very good snacks, I'm not gonna lie. So I miss this with the first two, but the rest were great. So candies and chocolates. Um, I have to go and find myself a Ukrainian supermarket or places where I can find these snacks because I would love to try more. Maybe I'll do a whole video where I like to taste test Ukrainian snacks. I love that. Alright, so let us read the passage for the next box. Ditch the horoscope because we can already say that you'll fall in love soon with yums on the way. Orange cookies, anise candies, and tiramisu. There's Sibyl. There's so easy. Sibyl. Sibyl? <laughs> There's Sibyl. is so easy to love. You won't want to share with your boo. Alright, so I make tiramisu quite a bit. So I know tiramisu is an Italian dessert. I'm going to assume the next box is going to be from Italy. Alright, so until next time. Bye!